Hey everyone, this racket could be the best tennis racket for every beginner out there. Let me tell you why. This is the head gravity team with the new Oxetic technology and maybe my statement shocks you a little but I do honestly think that this racket is a wonderful choice for every beginner out there. Thanks to Tennis Life for sending me this racket to review. If you need a new racket or any tennis gear, check out the link in the description down below. Let's go on court so I can show you what I mean. The Gravity Team has great potential for spin. It's very big head size, not only make this racket sweet spot huge, it also lets a lot of space between the strings. The racket is very good for easy topspin and it is also very easy to swing that helps you generate even more topspin. Maybe not as much as with the Pure Aero, as it is not that stiff, but in general, very good topspin. More on the specific shots later in the video. Despite the thick beam and the big head, the power in my opinion is controlled for this kind of a racket. Because of its very low stiffness of 60, this helps not only that you not overhit a lot, but also that you get a lot of feedback of the frame and you should know exactly what they put in. This combination of the racket and the added oxidic technology gives you the powerful racket you want as a beginner but also get the feedback so you can grow as a tennis player. And compared to a pure drive or an extreme MP, the feel is so much better, not even in the same category. Even drop shots and everything required with touch was a phenomenal experience. And guys, if you enjoyed this video so far, a sub to the channel would be amazing. Thank you guys. Despite the big team and the big head, the power in my opinion is controlled for this kind of director. Because of its very low stiffness of 60, this helps not only that you not overhit a lot, but also that you get a lot of feedback of the frame and you should know exactly what they put in. This combination of the racket and the added oxidic technology gives you the powerful racket you want as a beginner, but also get the feedback so you can grow as a tennis player. And compared to a pure drive or an extreme MP, the feel is so much better, not even in the same category. Even drop shots and everything required with touch was a phenomenal experience. And guys, if you enjoyed this video so far, a sub to the channel would be amazing. Thank you guys. And what is more important nowadays is longevity. The stiffness of a racket are often too high and can cause arm and shoulder issues. Bablat is doing that for years now. So it's nice to see that a powerful racket like the Gravity Team can be soft, almost like the Wilson Clash and be a great option for beginners too. Almost the best option in my opinion. The feeling is soft, but not too soft and you can use a string like a Bablat RPM Blast or a full poly and your arm or elbow will not get destroyed in the process. So let's go shot by shot. On the forehand I had trouble sometimes really to get the ball in play of course. I'm used to very controlled frames like the Gravity Pro or the Wilson Pro Stuff 97. But after a few games I have adapted to it and I must say it was a great experience to hit that shot. Short angles cross court were almost as easy as with a pure arrow. Hitting winners were absolutely possible without overheating too much. Great enjoyment on the forehands overall. On the backhands normally have issues with the power of a frame. I need a lot of feedback and control on that wing. But with this gravity team I very much enjoyed the backhand. All shots were possible with ease. I was almost too shocked about the experience playing with the powerful frame. And also it is stable enough that I can defend on my backhand side. Also in surf I normally have a problem with very powerful frames and this was also the case with the gravity team, at least with the first surf. I do not know how to utilize the powerful rackets to find my targets on the first surf. So I decided that I will either use the slice or the kick surf which you can imagine were extremely good. The kick spawns tie and outside of the court. The slice service angle almost everyone found the target. So overall on the surf I would say it was a very good experience. I really enjoyed it. Maybe you too. 
As I mentioned earlier, the feel is great, the racket also felt stable at net, redirecting volleys were absolutely doable and enjoyable, volley drop shots also were a lot of fun. I really like the benefits of this racket at net. So guys, this, in my opinion, could be one of the best rackets for a beginner. So if you are looking for a powerful frame which has a huge sweet spot, is extremely unfriendly and Disney controlled, give this racket absolutely a try. And also, if you are interested in the Pure Aero Rafa Region review, Rafa's racket, check out the review here.